perfect. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. Hello, today I'm going to give my thoughts on Chain Soldier. So Chain Soldier is an anime. No shit. Based on a manga about... It's basically degeneracy and action in an anime. Alrighty then. Pretty much what it is. So this guy who gets stuck in a dangerous place with all these monsters. And there's a hot girl there. And this hot girl makes him a slave. So in this world, that hot girl right there. Hot girl, hot girl, hot girl. Yeah. And in this world, the patriarchy is switched like that. Because the women are the fighters. And the men's are just like weaklings, I guess. <laughs> but they make it. So he is their housekeeper. Because he can't technically join the fight forces. But he, there's a little loophole where he can be the housekeeper and fight with them on the lines because he is the slave. But here's where the degenerate part comes in. So we got great action with this. Yes. Him, you know, working for her and. Um, Slavery is bad, but <laughs> so basically, the thing is the reward has to be based on how much more effort he put in. So after this first fight, he gets a kiss because he can she can read into his mind that he likes a little bit of the naughty stuff. So he gives him a little kiss, but from what I've heard, it gets more and more intense on the more fierce monsters he fights. The first time I watched this, the first episode, I'm like, oh, it's not that degenerate. But, like, especially compared to Gushing Over Magical Girls, which I might get into at some point. But, there's the kiss. But, um, I heard over time it gets much more degenerate. So yeah, I really like how there is a mix of action and degeneracy. Because sometimes you want a little bit of both. You know, you don't want just like, oh, tits. Well, like, tits are nice. But... You need that mix there. And that's an aspect of it I really like. And the characters. Let's go over the characters. The MC is boring. But the girl, the top girl. Again, can't really get too much into it. Like, it can't be as in-depth as the two guys because there was a whole season. You know, characters developed and everything like that. But I can get into my first thoughts. Which is, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty, de well, not pretty degenerate yet, but it I heard it gets pretty degenerate. And, um, yeah. So what do I give this anime? I'm going to give this anime probably about the first episode. <laughs> I'm trying to take the horniness out of this an 8 out of 10. Like, yes, I'm putting this as good as Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1. This could easily go up to a 9 for me over time. My horny size is 9, but... I'll give it an 8 to be objective. Um, but yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't as long as Jutsu Kaisen was, but there's nothing to go as much in-depth as. So, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Later.